doing great welcome to just channel if you're new here welcome and i'm so happy to see you all once again all right let's dive into one of the very another important topic which we're going to discuss about uh password policy in our windows server 2022 and what is going on with that all right i just log into my administrator user the one which has a full control so i can do whatever i want so that is a beautiful thing all right so there is a two things that you should keep in your mind as a technical person the first thing is that once you log into your windows server 2022 it is not only windows server 2022 but you may encounter the same things the same procedure the same step by step uh, procedure with windows server 2019 12 and 2008 as well but you can find where i'm going right now all right let's go uh, the first thing you need to do is log into your admin and then once you log in you have to come to server manager once you open here one thing you should keep in your mind that you can see in here these are two things one is a local group policy and the another one is come on <clears throat> what is a local group policy and another is group policy management once you install active directory inside the windows server so there is a less chance that you can use local group or we can say local security policy that's why we have a group policy management so we can assign a policy to the group wise gr uh, organization unit or so on <clears throat> let's come to password policy in here so i just create a specific uh, i can say a specific group policy which is called just right click and create a new and name it uh, password policy once you come in here uh, right click in here edit so once we get here what we're gonna do is there is a two ways we can assign a policy in our domain environment either through the computer or through the user so in order to make changes in our password policy we probably need to come to where we really need to come to computer configuration <clears throat> once we get here we need to come in here once we get in here we probably need to come windows server setting windows settings when you get here it's gonna take time not take that much time it's gonna take more time but we all set in here if you see here we have a specific portion by the name of security setting so what we're gonna do is we need to come in here once we click in here we have account policy local policy even log and so on there you go all right let's see what we have in here here you go we have a password policy once we click in here we have a bunch of features in here we need to make sure and we need to know force or we can say enforce password history so if you turn on this is how you can enforce password history for to remember how many times to remember we can say let's make it four or we can say up to 24 password we can say or let's name it 12 just number to 12 there you go and here maximum password age maximum password age i said 24 42 days should expire and i say here's the thing so if you pick these things remember that it's based on the group policy we apply these things and f42 that's fine keep in your mind as a technical person it's gonna give you hard time for the end users as well for example if you have 100 or 200 employees in that company and you make it for example 10 days every 10 days the all password gonna be expired so what's gonna happen the the windows prompt the end users like hey your password gonna be expired you have to make change you have to change your password so every 10 day if you or here's the thing there's a few people who are technical in any company or organization the rest is like they will give you a call hey you know what for some reason i'm not able to log in they know that the prompt they gave them a prompt like hey you have to change your password we haven't made it he couldn't make it or he was or she doesn't know how to do it that's why you have to make sure that if you need these future yes if it is not so by default it's gonna be what by default it is about 999 or we can say more than that or we can say it's a one here but i would say from the security standpoint if you talk about security standpoint guys it's very necessary i'm telling you i know 
I have no idea what to do. Here's the thing. My suggestion as a technical person, I always assign these this rules for admin users, for the powerful user, the, the one which has more power to get access inside the computer. So you know what I'm saying. So we can as assign that one. For the regular user who doesn't have any permission, privileges to log into that domain controller and make changes, that is different story. We cannot track those things. We let them like have like, let's make it 60 days. First of all, after 60 days, the password should expire. I mean, after 60 days, should <clears throat> the minimum is 30 days. Okay, that's good. So after 60 days, the password should expire. Then prompt the users like, hey, change the password. So the minimum, the minimum password age is 30 days. So at least after 30 days, if the guy is not able to change and the maximum is 60 days, like 30 days from the guy, hey, minimum password age is 30 days, change the password, change the password. When exceed the 60, turn off the guy and say you're done, my friend. So password line, one of the important things in here is that password line. If we pick by default, it is 40 characters. It's 14 characters. What we're going to say, we say, let's make it 15 characters. We can say 15 characters. For example, when someone is typing a password, it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then that man will be happy like, hey, it's good. But now what, gonna, what we're going to do is we minimum password length audit. So we can say if you want to audit, one thing you should keep in your mind, if you turn on too much audit, so you may expect too much issue uh, with the memory because it does require a specific room to record each and everything. Or if you have a backup system, if you want to point it, like if you set up like a Docker or if you set up any <coughs> NAS or storage area network, so that's different. But yes, it does require enough memories. So if you enable this one, this is how you can enable it. And then the password must meet the complexity. This is the this is the beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I love it. It makes like you have to use symbol, you have to use alphabet, you have to use numbers, you have to make sure that it's uh, uppercase and lowercase. So make the password very complex. You know, it's they say you don't have to use ABC at one two three or admin at one two three or uh, your date of birth or whatever. <laughs> In here, if you turn this one on, that's a beautiful things. I love it. I want to keep it. And then uh, this is how we're gonna make changes. So remember that uh, this is what we're supposed to do. So relax minimum password length limit. So this is also one of the feature that most of the people doesn't use. I'm not recommending to use it. It is, I mean, keep the password length. Keep the password length, move on. No worry about the 14 characters, 15 characters or the length, 60 days, just move on. But send the, send it to the audit policy. I will see if, it, if that gives it a hard, hard time then I have to make some changes anyway this store passwords using <coughs> reversible encryption so if I enable this one means if anything audit for example if anything is stored to the audit it should be encrypted it should be encryption so the thing is that I just want to know what is that like no one else so this is how you can encrypt your logs to the audit if you want to enable, then that's also fine. But enable is a reverse. We need access. We need modify. So it's all mixed by uh, encryption algorithm, which is good. If you want to enable, that's not a bad idea. Okay. Overall, this is how you can come and make a changes to your group policy, to your group policy management, and we can see a password policy. It's, it's very important. So once you, once we apply this one, it's already applied, guys. Um, all right, we have made these changes uh, <clears throat> close. So what we have done is in here, if you look at here, we apply these changes in here. So means whoever is member of this group, whoever is member of this group. So I have a two group. One is FTP server users and another is uh, authenticated user, or I can say domain users. Let's let's add domain users. Uh, um, sorry, guys. Uh, domain domain admin um, domain users there you go I would say whoever is a member of domain man must meet this policy must 
meet this policy okay it's about nine minutes i didn't want to eat up your time until next time it says save be brave and of course see you guys next time and don't forget to subscribe my channel and i appreciate for those who have already subscribed thank you